Well, the uh, long swim may be over, but the hard work is just beginning. That's the message you just heard from Lewis Pugh on the threat to the oceans. And Rebecca Williams reports now on what his journey has achieved. I've been swimming now for 30 years and all over the world, not just here in the United Kingdom, but I'm seeing so much plastic pollution in our seas. I'm seeing less and less fish. I'm seeing the huge impact with us humans are now having on our oceans. He may have made it 300 miles, swimming through plastic and at times in treacherous conditions, but his message throughout has been about marine protection. We've got many marine conservation zones around the United Kingdom, but the level of protection is so low that you're still allowed to drill for oil and gas, you're still allowed to drill for uh, aggregate, remove aggregate from them, industrial fishing is allowed, the Royal Navy is allowed to do gunnery exercises. There are currently 50 marine conservation zones in waters around England. Lewis wants more, and he's welcomed what's happening in Lime Bay, where the local community's taken things into their own hands. Their fishermen no longer use techniques that are harmful to the environment. This is a, a five and a half inch uh, tangle mesh net, which is a fairly open type mesh, set very loose. The smaller fish, the juvenile fish, and a lot of the rubbish, they can actually go through um, that mesh it eliminates the number of smaller fish that get caught. Along the way, Lewis has reinforced his message by meeting the likes of Prince Charles, diplomats and various politicians. Go for it, guys! <laughs> and in towns and cities across the South Coast, including his hometown of Plymouth, it's fair to say he's had a lot of public support. Lewis's journey has been pretty up and down along the way. He started in the blistering heat wave and he's ended in a pretty wet and soggy Dover today. But to reinforce his message, he's been blogging, he's had special guests on board his boat and he's given speeches too. But always keen to get his message across, he did endless media interviews, including a live with me on Sky News in the middle of the sea. And you seen a shark along the way. Somebody else was swimming on the other side of the boat. They got out fairly quickly. Yeah. Lewis may have brought his message home quite literally to quite literally to Dover, but just 20 miles away, campaigners are fighting for Goodwin Sands, a marine protected zone that could soon be dredged as part of expansion plans for the port of Dover. I think the first thing that we need to do is to really raise people's awareness of what is going on underwater and, and make sure that it's no longer out of sight, out of mind. The sea deserves conservation, it needs conservation just as much as the terrestrial environment. What's happening at Goodwin Sand shows that for Lewis the fight certainly isn't over. He says along the way he's seen virtually no wildlife and insists the real work starts now. After a good night's sleep, Rebecca Williams, Sky News in Dover.